um, can you talk to us a little bit more about like um, the, the different types of, of uh, like bookkeeping? I know there's two types. There's cash basis, accrual basis. So run us through those two. And by the way, guys, uh, QuickBooks Online and Zero, they're like a book keeping platform where all of the transactions of everything from your bank accounts and, and all of that stuff goes there and it gets all stored there. And then, you know, it has functionality to do like these smart views of like what your profit and loss statements are, your transaction summaries and all of this kind of stuff. Yeah. There's two types of bookkeeping, cash and accrual. Cash essentially means anytime you buy something, the second the charge goes on your credit card, debit card, wire, whatever it is, then it goes into your book. So if you buy a lot of inventory in January, it's going to go on your books in January. Accrual means that you're you're spreading it out to when you actually get the sale. So if you buy a lot of inventory up front and you sell it over the next five months, instead of January showing a, a loss and the other months looking really good, it's going to get spread out depending on when those sales actually happen. There's a lot in the e-commerce space right now that if you're an e-commerce seller, you should always be on accrual. And what happened is a lot of the brokers in the space went around and said, hey, if you want the highest multiple possible, you need to be in accrual bookkeeping. That that can be true. And a lot of times it is true. And they know what they're talking about there. But the real answer is you should have a conversation with your CPA, your tax person on whether you should be cash and accrual, because it's not always black and white. Your accountant could say, Hey, do the first year in cash and move over to accrual later. Or there might be some benefits tax wise for you to do cash. And then down the line, maybe you don't even need to switch to accrual. Keep in mind, if you do your bookkeeping in an accrual basis, usually costs a little more but it also allows you to toggle back and forth between cash and accrual. So just because your books are in accrual doesn't mean you have to file your taxes accrual. You can file your taxes on a, a cash or modified cash basis. That's a conversation you should have with your CPA. Does it make sense for you to pay a little bit more to have your books in accrual? Or can you get away with cash for a few years or whatever they advise you to do? Um, so make sure you have that conversation. What makes sense for your business, cash or accrual? And different e-commerce businesses you own might be different just depending on their business model. I personally, so I, I do uh, both sets of books. I personally like to look at cash basis more because it tells me my cash position, which is what allows me to make decisions. Like if I, you know, spent 10 K uh, on zoom, you know, a subscription this month, if you look at it on an accrual basis, it'll divide it over the course of 12 months. And you're, when you're P &L, when you look at your PL, like on an accrual basis, it'll say, Oh, you only spent uh, you know, a thousand dollars a month or whatever. But then on a cash basis, it says you spend $10,000 this month. And for me, that makes more sense because I know how much money I can spend and how much money I can't spend based on, you know, the amount of cash coming in and out. Maybe I, I spend a lot of money on Zoom this month. So next month, hey, don't don't go, you know, spending a lot of money on something else, even though it, on an accrual basis, it looks like it's spread out. But on a valuation side or investment side or something like that, I would definitely do accrual basis because it, it shows like, truly what your business is like uh, over a 12 month period. You know, if you have an expense that you incurred now, 